Hi, it's me, Measley. You're probably wondering where I am. I'm in my dog's ball tent that I got him for his birthday that he never uses, so I decided I would use it for once. Do you like this shirt? I'm feeling very festive today with Ohio's weather getting crazy. Sorry about the echo. This is the sun room, if you will. <laughs> but what I wanted to do is I started a video a few days ago and I've been sick for the past three days, so I haven't got to complete it. So I'm gonna show you what I started with and then we're gonna dive into it. This is product photography and things I've done for my clients, some tips and tricks, maybe help you guys out. Let's jump into it. Hello, and welcome back. It's me, Measley, and do I have a treat for you today? Stay tuned. All right, so what I wanted to talk about today is a touch point on another thing on how to get clients for your photography business, okay? So what I have here today is I'm going to be doing a uh, collab with a candle company. Super cool, I just got these in the mail. There's three of them. These things are dope. Um, so I have Roanoke, so these are all based on um, different books. Uh, Courser, this is Alice in Wonderland type deal. And then I have uh, Bare Necessities, and I don't remember what this one was, but super, super cool. They smell awesome, cool little jars. This is really, this is dope. So thank you, Candice, for wanting to do a collab with me, and even, the wrapping paper. This was super cool. But it's not, it's not newspaper. It's actually not newspaper. I, I thought that was pretty cool. And then she left me a note. Uh, thank you for the clap. I look forward to seeing your vision. Cheers, Candace. Thank you, Candace, everybody. If you would like to get a candle, it's misplaced muse creative. And I'll leave the uh, info in the, in the description. So I know that we touched on doing things for free and I had some questions on, you know, how to go about doing it for free. So I joined a Facebook group, right? It's just for small shop owners. They post and they say, hey, um, I need photogra product photography photos and et cetera for my website or I need lifestyle photos, whatever. And then you can leave your portfolio, another big thing, Portfolio, so what I say, get a website, build a portfolio. Hmm, part of shooting free, it's helping you build a portfolio. And then if they like your style, they'll say, yeah, let's collab. So she sent me these for free, um, and I'll take photos of them and send them to her, and then, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll do adjustments if she doesn't like certain things, um, because they're for her product. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on how I'm gonna shoot these, because I have a great idea, because they're all based on um, certain like older books and I think I've got some killer ideas so I went out to the store and I bought a few things um, because I, uh, I I read the kind of bio of these candles and some of the ingredients they were used I was like I have an idea so let's jump into it also side note my house is a mess right now I just got a Ronin 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 whatever I just bought a gimbal because actually someone hired me to do a music video, so that's cool. So I have all these boxes and packages and uh, it's driving me nuts. And then yesterday I, I was shooting uh, with another person and so it's been busy. So forgive me, I'm cleaning the house tonight. Leave me alone. Okay, we're in my living room slash dining room slash studio. I'm planning on Building a studio in the basement, it's unfinished. I wanna finish it, but I'm waiting for the price of, you guessed it, lumber to come down, yeah. So like you just saw in the videos I shot a couple of days ago, I'm shooting candles, a uh, little product photography work. This is free work. This is how I do it. This is just tips and tricks. Maybe it'll help you. Um, all the props that you're gonna see, I purchased myself. Um, I just wanna make the client happy because this is ultimately going in my portfolio. So let's get started. So as you can see, the backdrop I still left up because I'm doing other client work, free product work. And 
I like to have the black background for the darker, moodier stuff that I'm doing. So like the candles were really cool. They were inspired by different books. So like the Alice in Wonderland thing, uh, there was the Jungle Book. She wanted dark and moody, so I gave her dark and moody with the black background to kind of help. So let's look at my lighting situation. And this goes back to my previous videos where I said you do not need hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of gear to do this because I, like I'm using like I think both of these lights were like ten dollars my little key lights and then my larger light was like 30 30 to 40 bucks from Amazon so you don't need anything crazy also what you guys like this shirt you digging this I think it's dope let me know down in the comment section what you think So as you can see in that little time lapse there, <laughs> real professional. Um, this is what I did, and the wallet at the time was cooperating a little bit more, so I'm gonna find, uh, looks like one other book to use. So BRB, I found something better. It's actually a canvas of my dog when he was a puppy. Look at him, oh my goodness. So I'm gonna throw this under here, and then we'll get started. All right, so as you can see, we have our prop Props staged, and as you can see, it's not 100% level, but it'll work. So this was the candle that was the George of the Jungle themed. So I bought this fern, it was like 12 bucks, and it makes it feel very um, jungly ish if you will. So that's what we did. Um, so I took a couple photos of this, just like this, and they looked like this. Now, the other ones that I did, I had a pair. I bought a pair, it was like 99 cents. And I cut it in half and I placed them kind of behind and one forward. You know, kind of a little extra because she used pears as one of the main ingredients. So I wanted to make sure I threw that in there and that looked like this. And then I took a couple photos with the top actually off, placed here, I lit it and then I added some smoke in uh, post, and those look like this. So as you can see, they look great, and this is just what I use. So all in all, like 15 bucks. Client was super happy with, with this candle shot, and like I said, I'm building relationships with people doing this. So this is why I do this. I want them to be happy. I'm using it for my portfolio. Word of mouth spreads. That's how you build clientele. So on to the next one. Uh, it was the Alice in Wonderland theme. I had a lot of fun with this, so let's set this one up. Okay, and as you can see from the little time lapse there, this was my setup for everything. I bought this little uh, piece of acrylic glass, if you will, on Amazon. It was like 10 bucks really dope to get the reflections in there. So what I did was I kind of played with the angles of everything. And this was the mad tea parties, the, the mad rabbit and was strawberry cheesecake is kind of the smell. So I threw that in there. The roses were a nice touch. Alice in Wonderland was kind of an odd uh, depiction, especially from the movie. So this was my setup for this. And these photos looked like this. So as you can see, so far everything is very low budget, but it actually turned out really great. I had the teacup, I bought the little strawberry shortcake, um, cheesecake ordeal at Kroger's, it was like a dollar or something. So it wasn't too bad. I had the roses from the Valentine shoot, I actually just posted those photos today. They're dead. <laughs> and I kept them because I was like, I could totally use them for a prop in the future. So that's what I did. Now on to Roanoke, which was one of my favorite ones to do because it was like the manly, the manly candle, tobacco leaf, bay leaf, you know, rum and whiskey type thing. So let's set that up. Okay, so as you can just see what I just did is I actually bought some bay leaves because bay leaves are an ingredient for this candle and tobacco leaves were another one um, but I couldn't find tobacco leaves and now that I think about it I should have just bought 
a cigar and took the wrapping off of it, the ones that are wrapped in tobacco leaves. So this is not rum or whiskey. This is actually uh, tea that I made and it's been sitting in my fridge and I wasn't gonna drink it. So I put tea in there and then I grabbed a, an old rum bottle that I've had for a while and this setup made shots like this. So there you have it. That is kind of my general setup, how I set up to do prod photography. And like I said, none of my gear is super expensive. I had this light just shining on this the whole time. I didn't use any key lights or anything like that. I literally just had one light source on it and then used the natural lights that, that the natural lights that came in from the windows around it. So if you think this was helpful or it was kind of see a behind the scenes, maybe to give you a little hint or tip of what you should do, use something that goes with the product. So I used ingredients that she used or a kind of play on what the product was about, the whole Alice in Wonderland, the Jungle Book thing, to kind of connect with that and really make it unique. Um, so something that, you know, maybe not 100% of people are doing, or maybe not you're not seeing other companies do, do it, because that is what sets you apart from everyone else. So, in the gist of everything, shoot for free, spend a lot of time on your free projects, because one, that is building more clientele for you. Two, you're gonna get better every time you shoot and they're going to be used on your portfolio. So that is the greatest thing ever. It's just free for you as well. So stick with it. And one last thing, if you do enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff, it really does help. I'm trying to work on this and do this 100%. I would love to do that. But I also want to help everyone else out, so I want this channel to be informational and fun and happy and all that other good stuff. So let's try to make that happen. I'm going to try to focus on one video a week and we'll do behind the scenes stuff like this. I'll even show the editing of these photos if you guys wanted to see it. So just let me know in the comment section and uh, we'll keep shooting them out. Till then, I love y'all. Bye.